I've been taking collagen supplements every day for almost three years and rarely have any problems at all. In fact, the only time I've had an issue is with these, what might be marketed as or, or described as more advanced versions of a collagen peptide supplement. About a month ago, I did a review on this collagen product from Sparkle Wellness. It's called Sparkle Wellness Skin Boost Plus. And I was really excited to start to try it out. It has something in it called Verisol Collagen, which is a more highly bioavailable version of, of collagen peptides. And it's really exciting because there are a lot of human studies that show tangible benefits from Verisol Collagen specifically. We're talking about improving the strength of fingernails, reducing wrinkles, improving skin elasticity, and even reducing cellulite. Now, I don't worry about that last one, but the other things are pretty good. And the reason I started taking collagen to begin with was because I had heard that it could help improve joints. I do a lot of running and do a lot of running on very difficult terrain. So on trails, outdoors, and every year I go to the Grand Canyon. And that for me was the motivation to start taking collagen peptides to begin with. I did, and I saw a lot of benefits, which I've talked about on this channel in the past. Well, when I did that review for this, I was really excited to start taking it. I said I would take it for 30 days and then I would get back to you and tell you how it went. And even though I say, I, I'd like to say I took it for 30 days, it's been 30 days, but I wasn't able to take it for 30 days. So what I did was I took it for, started taking it and it was probably four or five, maybe six days in. And oh, I started feeling a lot of bloating to a point where it was a little bit painful and ended up with some very significant constipation. And at first I was like, well, is it the collagen? But it was hard for me to say that it wasn't because I had experienced the same thing when I tried a while back, several months ago, I tried Vital Proteins Professional Collagen, their professional version, they call it. And this has Verisol Collagen in it too. I was hopeful that maybe switching to another brand would, would, would be uh, help would be helpful. Maybe it would make it so I could avoid those issues. But at the same time as I was hopeful, I was also a little bit doubtful because the main ingredient is Verisol collagen. And unfortunately for me, um, it resulted in some uncomfortable side effects. And I thought, well, let me just make sure. So I, I stopped taking it for probably about a week, maybe two. And then I started taking it again to see w would I have the same result. And sure enough, a few days into it, I started feeling a lot of, uh, I had a lot of bloating and it was really, really really significant. And then also I had some very, as I mentioned, very significant constipation. So I tried it, it happened, I stopped taking, I tried it again and experienced those same things again. So in my mind, that tells me that for some reason, my gut just is not uh, happy, is not willing to handle uh, Verisol collagen. Any collagen product that is comprised mostly of Verisol collagen. Hey, if you're liking today's video, please hit the like button and remember to subscribe. Thank you. So for me, I'm going to avoid them in the future. And it's kind of a bummer because as I mentioned earlier, the studies, the research in humans is very, very promising. It's very positive. On that note, just because I experienced some sort of uh, negative effect from taking this doesn't mean that you will and doesn't mean that everyone else will. So I'd like to hear about your experience. Have you taken this one specifically, Sparkle Wellness, whether that's Skin Boost Plus or one of their other versions of collagen that has Verisol collagen in it? I'd like to hear about your experience and would love to know how it's going for you. Well, that's definitely not the news that I wanted to report. I was hoping to report something more positive, but hopefully that helps you if you're trying to decide whether you should take this or not. Once again, side effects with taking collagen uh, supplements are pretty rare, and I suspect it's probably rare taking Verisol collagen, but for me, it's one that I will avoid in the future. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.